Hey everyone, how you doing? Sharon here for Fishing Tales and Other Lies. We've got another bad weather day. and But anyway, that's okay. Um, I thought today we could maybe do a video on some fishing knots. I'm going to do a series of them. And today's video is going to be about a knot called a clench knot, which is a really good knot for you beginners out there. Now some of you are probably already using a version of it already and don't realize what it is. But it's also known as the fishing knot and the fisherman's knot. And if you're over in the UK, I believe you guys there call it the blood knot. But here in North America, that's a totally different kettle of fish. Pardon the pun. All right. So let's get the bits together so that I can show you how to uh, tie this knot. I'm going to show you two versions of the knot. I'm going to show you the basic version and I'm going to show you the modified version. All right. So let me get the uh, things together so we can uh, get to it. All right. Be right back. Okay, here we go. So here's the uh, hook that I'm going to be using. And um, this is just a number one J hook. I'm using it for its size. It does have an offset head on it, but don't let that bother you. Uh, it doesn't matter if the head's offset or not. And here we have eight pound test monofilament or nylon line. It's pink, yes, so you can see it. And you're going to start off, as you do with every knot, we're going to thread it through, thread our line through the eye of the hook, okay, give ourselves a generous tag end to work with, sorry, there we go. So we've got our main line which goes back to the reel, and then we have the tag end here which is the end that you work with. You're going to wrap this tag end around, I would say, about six times around the uh, standing line, your main line. Let's get it. Get it going here. Six times is usually the norm for most knots. You can do eight if you want. It's up to you. But I wouldn't go less than six if you can avoid it. Okay, so let's just grab hold of the tag end again, so we can see what we're doing. And if you look down here where the eye of the hook is, you'll see the where it's looped, that open loop there. This is where you're going to pass the tag end through the open loop. Okay, so you have something that looks like that. Just give yourself a bit to hang on to. All right, now at this point, you're going to moisten your knot. This is to lubricate the line. This is something you need to do with every knot that you tie in fishing. Otherwise, the friction from when you're pulling, cinching down on the line can actually damage the line and can detract from the total strength of the line up to about 30% if not more. Okay. Now, a clench knot is not the strongest of all fishing knots, so you don't really want to weaken the knot any more than um, you need to. So we've moistened the line, we're now going to pull the tag in and the main line to cinch down on that knot, bring it right down to the uh, loop of the the eye of the hook and then we're going to just going to pull on that and hold it for about 10 seconds this allows this the loops of this knot to bed into the main line so they dig in we want them to do that just about 10 seconds should do nicely okay and then we can cut the tag end off i like to leave a little bit of a, a, a tag in on my um not because that way the loops can lock, still lock down on it. If the tag end slips underneath the coils or the loops here, the knot can come undone, all right? So I just like to leave a little bit here. That's maybe a bit more than what I would normally leave, but that's what I like to do is leave a bit of a tag end so that knot can continue locking down. So that is your basic clench knot, all right? So now I'm going to show you another way of tying this knot, and it's called uh, a 
double clench or a modified clench knot. All right, so here we go again. We're going to do the same thing that we did the last time, except we're going to add one more step to this knot. So we're going to thread it through the eye. We're going to bring this tag end back again, and we're going to wrap it around the main line about six times, like we did the last time. Okay, grab hold of tag end. All right. Again, find that loop at the top of the eye. Pass it through there like you did the last time. Grab hold the tag end. Now, this loop here, you're going to pass that tag end through this loop here as well before we just cinch down on it. So before we cinch down, once again, make sure you lubricate, then pull. This just adds another loop there we go, tighten that up, we're gonna hold that for about 10 seconds, let it lock down on itself. So by passing it through that uh, loop again, it just gives another um, another uh, loop around the main line and also the uh, the tag line and just gives it a little bit makes it a little bit stronger that's about 15 percent to the total strength of the line when you do that okay so there you go that again I've left a bit of a tag there to allow the knot to lock down so that's your modified clench knot or a double clench knot just that one little extra step can add about 15 to 20 percent uh, extra strength to that knot for this line. Okay, so there you go. Got to be one of the most simplest knots to use in fishing. So that was the clench knot and the modified clench knot, also known as the double clench knot. So why don't you go and practice it? You've probably been using it already and just didn't realize what it was called. And to you people over in the UK, of course, it's known as a blood knot. Okay, so hope the video was some help to you today. Uh, you know, look forward to some of the um, other videos I do on knots. I'm going to do a couple of them, simple knots for attaching lines together, other knots for your lures and your terminal tackle. And uh, hopefully you can learn something from it. All right, so until the next time, I'm going to say tight lines. This is Sharon for uh, Fishing Tales and Other Lies. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, okay? Bye-bye. Talk to you soon.